up on match between Ed Strangler Lewis and Richard Dick Schickart of Germany. Joe Humphreys of the Sithering giving instructions to the boys as the crowds continue to come in. Everybody's excited. Schickart weighing 218 pounds against Lewis's 236. Jack Curley being presented to the audience. Stepping out of the ring, here's Dick Schickart now watching everything. Joe Humphreys still going through the motions of announcing the weights of the principals. Here they are called to the center of the ring. Strangler Lewis has the dragon's seal on his jacket. Here's the start of the match. Both boys spent the opening minutes feeling each other out, looking for a tangible hold. Tosses his man. Here he's trying to pinion Lewis's shoulders to the mat as they're near the ropes. He's got a half Nelson on him now. Referee's got to watch every move, walk around to see if both shoulders are to the camp. Hold that the strangler made famous. The German boy is working from side to side. Rushes suddenly, twists his man around. Here's a great hole, the Japanese arm lock. Flight by Shikard. One move of the leg, and backwards goes Lewis again. Note the twitching of the fist on the hand that's almost numb. Moving around. Shikard at this time is still master of the situation. Lewis is trying to raise Dick up a little bit, if he possibly can. Dick got his man in the same position. Same Japanese arm lock. Paul Nelson hold. Referee is over to one side, letting the boys get set to arise. Suddenly, Shikart twists his man over. Now it's Shikart who has... Lewis down with the lattice punishing, strangling hold. Well, they call it the head. Rice, same position. Lewis was kind of looking at his man. Shikart suddenly turns around. And here he's going for the spread eagle. One leg down and the other's hands around his other leg. And notice the expression of pain on Lewis's face. Boy, he crawls under the ropes. Self-preservation is the first law of human nature. Here they are in a neutral corner. Shikart applies the crotch hold and body slam. And Lewis hits the deck. On his back, gets up. Once more, they manipulate close. Here's Shikart. Trying to get away from the Lewis toll. And Lewis is making the most of it by using a sort of a leg hammerlock. Lewis broken. There's another headlock. Down goes Lewis once more. Shikard is certainly passing the play. Now it's Lewis has got Shikard on the spot. Backing his opponent into the ropes. Back flip. And the German boys hit the deck. On all fours. Referee is taking quite an active part in the pursuit. Once more down on the mat. Shikard on top of his opponent. Here he's got one hand under his opponent's leg. He's using it in sort of a Derek-like fashion. And here's what we call the cradle hold. The same hold, you know, the mothers use in rocking the baby, only in this instance there's a lot of pain attached to it. And it's not as comfortable as a young one in a crib being lulled and rocked to sleep by a mother. Rudy Dusek made this hold famous and trying to force the strangler not only out of the ropes, but in among press row. Come together. Shikard once more forces his opponent down. Here's the Japanese arm lock. The same hold that so disastrous to Lewis shortly after the battle got underway. Shikard is resting over just one deft movement of the leg as he gets all set and Lewis must go around, squirm around a little bit and back again. They certainly make the most of the, out of that Japanese arm lock. 
<laughs> the referee seems not to be only doing his daily dozen. That's Lewis rubbing his hand, which has turned white, as pale as a sheet of white paper. And once more, he's forced back by Shikot, just a deft movement of the legs. And Lewis must go the other way around, both shoulders hitting the mat. See, for a second, he turns around towards Dick. Let's see what's going to happen now. Shit rages. The battle between two supermen of the mat game. Never an idle moment. Hard, scientific wrestling. Look the way they grapple around each other. Shikot swarming all over Lewis. Lewis trying to smother his man by putting his right hand over his opponent's mouth and chin. Here's Lewis kicking away with his feet. Left and right, left and right. Some people take the deli dozen at six to seven in the morning, but not the wrestlers. They generally do it towards the late hours of evening. Shikot is still all over his man, giving Lewis very little rest. But the side, while at the same time applying the toe hold. And he did apply it, even though the strangler managed to turn over and rest with his on his arms and elbows. Moved around a little bit, tried to force Shikot to let go by putting both hands around his face in a sort of a reversible headlock. Well, they're going to it, all right. Has the gunner every once in a while, puts his hand in there. You see, there's no stranglehold, and he bounces right out of it as if his hand was in the jaws of a trap set to catch a bear or set another crutch hold. Down goes the strangler. Here in neutral corner, referee is tapping Shikot to let go. Lewis taking his time about getting up. Here they are, Shikot roughing his man up once more, rushing him. But Lewis caught him off his guard. Rushes in again, gets a headlock hold on Shikhart. Look at the way he's mugging him. And as Shikhart staggers, he drops him with a headlock once, twice. Gets up again, Shikhart a little bit tired. There goes another headlock for the third time. Shikhart goes down, leaving the referee down on all hands and knees. And he's patting him. There he is. Lewis the winner. Shikhart gets up there. Somebody's raising Lewis's hand. Time, one hour, six minutes, and seven seconds.